Good. That is a nice way to start, guys. Very nice way to start. Man. Apart from the tangle I just caused Dad. I'm sure he won't be uh, upset when he has one of these in his hands, though. So, anyway, we're just going to finish tying our lines, get sorted, and I'll have a chat to you guys. I'll hold this one up. Nice fish to start. After catching this first fish, little did we know there was some hot whiting action to come later on in the night. G'day guys, Will Kitchen here. Welcome back to another video. Now, that was a good way to start with that whiting again. I'm here with Dad tonight and we're doing an overnight trip, sleeping in the boat, chasing some of these whiting. And uh, we're really excited about it and we have a good feeling about tonight. We're gonna walk you through our rigs and everything like that and give you some tips throughout the night. Last video, I gave you some tips at the end, just five pretty basic tips, but tonight I'll go a little bit more in depth into our technique and gear and stuff like that for you. So I get a lot of questions about that, so hopefully it's helpful for you guys. And uh, hopefully there's plenty of action with some big whiting coming over the side of the boat. If you do enjoy, don't forget to subscribe, leave a like rating, leave a comment. I'm happy to help you guys out with any questions that you have to go and catch a fish for yourselves and share it with your mates if you think it could help them. All right, I'm gonna get back to this whiting action, but stay tuned for plenty of tips and hopefully some good action throughout the night. Little one. Mm. Not too bad, but yeah. there we go. Another one there, guys. Decent size one. Funnily enough, I literally just tied this rod up, cast it. I put the rod. Jeez, only lip hooked. I put the rod down, went to sort out another rod, and it got a bite straight away. So good sign. That's a couple really quickly. Hopefully they keep biting like that. So with these whiting guys. Dad started getting a bite, but you really want to let them take it. You don't want to strike too early because you're either going to miss the bite or that's a great way to pull the hooks halfway through a fight because they won't be hooked properly. So be gentle, be soft, let them bite. But then when they start to really run off with it, you'll feel your rod just start to go like they're swimming off with it. That's when you strike. So we're just waiting for that now. That's what the last two have done. All right, there's a nice one, guys. So exactly what I was saying before, you really got to be patient, wait for them to... Uh, to eat it before you strike. If, if you strike too early, you can lose them. We're fishing for a feed tonight, so we don't even mind if these big whiting swallow it down. That's actually better because there's less chance of them getting off. It's a pretty good size tonight already. Hopefully there's some bigger ones around as well, but not complaining at all. We just had three bites. My, my two on this side definitely felt like whiting. Got one of them. There's that one. Now up until this point I've been joking with dad because he couldn't catch a whiting. He got stingrays, brim, tarwine, all sorts of rubbish, but he finally broke the curse. Dad, you've broken the curse at least. Yeah, yeah. Dad has got a whiting everyone. What's that? A whiting? <laughs> Is I that what they look like? I didn't turn the camera on, but he hooked some other stingray thing as well. He's missed bites, but he's he's on. He's, he's on fire. I'm on fire. I'm the best. He's the best. <laughs> I'm the best. Oh, it's not a bad size one. Are you sure it's one? Yeah. <laughs> well, Dad's got the monkey off the back and now he's on again. And hopefully it's a whiting. Yeah, nice. He's alright and he just took it as well. There you go, guys. That's a better one, probably the best one of the night so far. Very nice. We'll get it back out there. have to get a tangle and then they start biting guys always the way I'm trying to sort that out and I've got a bite luckily landed it he swallowed it right down so anyway we'll do with this tangle there's a few out there at the moment Yep. 
with whiting fishing guys when they start to bite all of a sudden it can be that quick as you saw we just got bite 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 we went from sitting there for about 45 minutes with nothing to having four in the bucket at the same time before we can take a breath Oh, I think so. I'm not sure. No, the left one's a fish. Yeah, that's, that one's a fish. Got it? Yeah. There's another one. No, it's not. No, it's not. Really? Yeah. Jeez. Sounds like you got it. Yeah. Oh yeah, another one. So what you're seeing guys, the whiting are really coming on the chew and sometimes it's amazing to see how hard they'll actually bite when they're like this. But what you're about to see is I've just cast my line, might have a bit of a sit down for a while. Whoop, just kidding, there's another bite. Just cast this one guys, you just saw that. Yeah. Little one that time guys, all these other ones though, the five or six that we've just got in a row have all been nice size, up around 30 centimetres anyway. 60 seconds later, Dad's got another one here. All I did was take mine off and he's on again. It's going alright, do you want a net? No. That's a nice one. Not too bad. Just thought I'd show you that one uh, between all the fish. I don't want you to get sick of us just winding them in one after the other. So there's a nice close up and uh, show us how nice and sandy they are. Very clean, beautiful fish and no wonder they taste good. Their fillets are almost translucent. Delicious. Alright, we'll keep going. Alright, I just thought I'd take this opportunity to quickly run you through our gear guys because I get a fair few questions about that on most of my videos. So pretty much for the whiting, whether we're fishing around the sand flats or um, in the rivers chasing the bigger ones, we're using straight through eight pound mono. So we just look for the clearest or uh, you know most invisible, <laughs> invisible line you can rather than like a fluoro pink or yellow or something like that. Um, it's, well, for the leader anyway. Now where there's a bit more current, we use a tiny bit bigger ball sinker than we would out fishing around the shallow sand flats. Um, but you can just use that to suit the current wherever you're fishing. This one. <laughs> you're on over there. Green. Oh, God. Sorry, had a bit of action, but we're back. So, where was I up to? Eight pound mono, main line and leader. Our reels, we like to use alvies. They are great for whiting and estuary fishing in general. Um, and especially when we're laying our rods down like you're seeing in these videos But you can do it with spin reels um, Just be careful that you don't lock your drag up and it goes flying over the back of the boat for starters. Yeah, just run that nice smooth drag and um, We've got these nice long rods with a soft tip Which you would see throughout the videos as we're fighting these fish now the soft tip helps to not spook the fish They don't feel as much pressure, but they're nice and sensitive so you can see everything that's going on and then they have a nice strong midsection so when you set that hook geez it's all action here so when you set that hook it's going to stay in there the other reason having a nice soft tip with the whiting helps is because as i said they do those really big lunges especially when they get to the boat and uh, that soft tip really helps cushion that with our trace we're running a nice long trace around 85 centimeters um, once again just to not spook those whiting especially if we have to use a little bit bigger sinker in that faster flowing water we found if you're using a shorter trace, sometimes the whiting feel that sinker and even if they start to bite, they'll just stop because they get spooked. So having that nice long trace around 85 centimetres is really good. They're coming in thick and hot. Right, while Dad catches that, the last thing I mentioned is the hooks. I'll put a photo... Oh, wait, which one? That one? Yeah. The last thing I'll mention is the hooks. I get a lot of questions about this too. We use size 4 extra long shank mustard bloodworms they're called. So I'll put a photo on the screen of what the packet looks like. 
So the reason we like the extra long shank is with the smaller fish, it has less chance of them swallowing it. So you can release them a lot healthier and safer without them swallowing the hook. And it's also way better for baiting up with yabbies. And that's what we're using as bait. You can fit that whole yabby onto the shank of the hook. You don't have to thread it up your line. All right, hope these little tips have helped. Let's get back to the fishing action. That's the one dad just got. Nice fish again. Get straight back into them while they're biting. Oh, he's all good. Oh, yeah, nice. Oh, no. Huh. Huh. It's all right. It's not quite as big as I thought it was. No, no. There's one dad just got. So we're getting a lot of bites out dad's side, well whiting bites out dad's side at the moment so I'm going to somehow try and get my lines more out there. It's definitely a thing where sometimes one side of the boat can be catching them and the other side is just catching nothing or just crap. They've definitely slowed down from what they were just before guys. We got around 10 fish in about half an hour which was pretty good but we're still picking up the odd one they're still around you never know when they could just come through again a, a feeding school so I'm trying to hold this guy for you that one is number 20 for the night beautiful fish i say it every video but absolutely love them so i was just changing the battery in the gopro guys and dad's hooked up again we've got a couple of fish that you guys haven't seen that's a nice fish you're gonna have to hold that one up, Dad. That's a nicer one. Very nice. Just put your rod down. Just grip. Yeah, you got him. Can I make it a double? Oh, no. Oh, no. Not the stingray. Oh, my God. Wait, wait. I've got one too, whatever they are. Yep, good one. Yeah. Oh Jesus, one's coming across the surface. Oh, I think we've got another pony fish. What is going on? Guys, I don't know if you can see that. I don't want to bring it in the boat because they're slimy and stinky and disgusting. But they're like a half trevally sort of thing. I don't even know what they are. Pony fish they're called. So there's that one that Dad just got then. Another nice one. When we look at them tomorrow morning on the cleaning table, we won't be disappointed at all. Of course, I got stuck with the pony fish. Whenever you set the hook and it starts skimming across the surface, you know you're in a bit of trouble. Anyway, that's alright. We're getting a good feed. He's standing up, it's serious. It's a good fish. Yeah, it's under the night so far. Yeah. I think. Yeah, up there, that's for sure. Anyway, as you can see. They kick like crazy, they're powerful, oh, and they're really good fun to chase. Come here. Dad has once again won biggest fish and probably the most fish. Anyway, very nice. Alright, well that's the end of the session for us guys. We're going to go down to where we're sleeping now. We're just motoring there now. So we ended up with 42 whiting there for the esky. And we could have kept going, we had a whole bucket full of yabbies left, they were still biting and actually just starting to come on again. But we decided to go to sleep, it's before midnight, sometimes we fish into the early morning for them and to get that many before midnight is an absolute cracker of a session. So really happy with that and that'll be a couple of really good feeds for the family, that's for sure. I'm just going to sort out our bed here in a second, but uh, yeah, great session, awesome to do it with Dad and I'll see you guys at the filleting table in the morning. All right, thanks so much for watching the video, guys. I just thought I'd finish up by showing you just how white and beautiful these fillets look. We also bleed these fish by cutting them behind the gills, which makes a big difference too. But check this out and stay tuned because there's plenty more coming in the future. There's plenty more videos on the way. I appreciate you if you watched this far and uh, yeah, don't forget to subscribe. All right, thanks guys.